Welcome to this tutorial video to show you how to invite new users to your Academy Trust iLAM system. So, firstly, I'm logging in with the test dummy account where I'm set up as the super user. So this is exactly what you'll see when you when your super user logs into the iDAM system. So it'll bring you to the overall summary page, which will and if you just click on my team. It will show you that I'm registered under this provider and there is only this account set up. So what I'll do now is I'll show you how to invite a new user. So just hit the little cross at the top and use the invite employee icon. So just click on it. You can enter a name so that will help with the email um, titling. And then this is the important bit typing in the email address exactly as the user has it and what they'll use to register. So this is the email address they'll need to use when they log in in future for items. So this is another dummy test account. And you'll see there in the bottom left hand corner, the user's been invited successfully. Okay, and you can do this multiple times if you wanted to. So if you've got a you know a team of four or five people, you could do that really quick and easy. And then what I'll do is I'll now show you what the user would receive. So I'm just going to log out of this super user account, show you the email that the uh, has just been generated from the system. So you can see this is a dummy Gmail account. So you just simply click in and it'll say, dear test name one, that's what I entered into the form. Hit the register button. and then you're through to the registration page. So this is the usual setup for any sort of system. So entering your name, uh, the email address is already in there, so you can't enter that. Uh, your password, what you'd like to use to log in. And then it's the confirmation of your password. The terms and conditions are there, but if you wanted to read them, they're there in the vault. Press register. Now the registration, there are two parts. So you've entered in your details. This next stage will tell you what your user ID is. So you can either use that or your email address when you log into the online form link, but you must press continue now to complete the registration. And now the next stage is just about the password reset. So if you could get your password, you've got a set of options of what you'd like to use to recover it. So you can either use a text message or challenge questions. Uh, for this instance, I prefer using the email link. So if you forget your password, they'll send you an email link to reconfirm it. Press submit, and then it will bring you through to the usual IDAMS non-super user profile. So that's where you can only see your details. So it shows you the trust that you've already registered with. So you don't need to go through that stage. Um, that the super user would have to in the first instance of uh, registering. Um, so this bit, so this section just covers the change of password, uh, password reset preferences. And I'll show you because you first logged in, uh, you need some roles allocated to that. So you can just finish up here and I'll log out and I'll show you what the original account, so the first one I logged in with was the super user. So if you recall that's a slightly different email test account. And I'll show you how to uh, manage the roles and assign further super users. So just logging in, you can see the difference between the IDAMS account. So click into my team. And now you'll see instead of just the one account, there is a second account. So this is the one we've just added. So if you press update user, Underneath will give you a list of all the roles and permissions that they've got because they're new, they don't have any. So just simply click this button and then assign the accounting return uh, roles or the land and building collection tool roles here. And what I'll now show you is how to assign a new super user. So currently they're just one, which is this account. Um, but to make it easier, if there's a more of a business requirement, that's fine. You can add more super users so there's more people with the ability. And you see that just simply just 
select the user from the list and press assign and then you'll get a uh, criteria success button at the bottom and then when you go back you'll see here that the roles have been updated so you can see this is the account I'm logged in with which is the super user account and you can see the account below which is the one I've just set up two minutes ago and I've just given the super user access to so this account will now be able to do exactly the same thing as the other account. So if there's a business need for your office to have two super users or as many as you want, that's the process to go through. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. If you've got any questions, please use the Academy questions link on this website. Thank you very much.